Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days and to the 30 Days of Preparedness Collaboration. A really great collaboration where we're bringing you a preparedness video every single day in the month of September covering all aspects of preparing. I hope that you've been enjoying it so far. We've gotten through the first 15 days. Absolutely phenomenal information. A lot of a lot of good stuff. A lot of thought-provoking stuff because we all come at it from a different perspective. And I think that's what makes it so educational and so good is because none of us prepare in the same manner. And we're sharing with you how we prepare so that you can become better prepared wherever you are with whatever your situation is. Today, we are going to chat about a get home bag. It's what it's commonly called. It's an emergency bag that you keep in your vehicle so that if anything happens, you have the bare necessities to get home. Okay, and this again is going to change for absolutely everybody. A lot of times um, when I'm thinking about my personal situation, okay, I am a 55 year old woman who is not in fantastic shape, who works 12 miles from home. So it takes me 12 miles to get there, 12 miles to get back, okay? How long is it gonna take me to do that 12 miles if I'm on foot? It's gonna take me a little while, but I can do it if I have the right equipment in my car just in case of an emergency. Okay, so I thought I would run through just a basic list of what to have in your kit. This can go in anything. I highly recommend though not using a tactical looking backpack, okay? Use a backpack, use a diaper bag, use a messenger bag, use whatever you can. Um, you want it to be sturdy and you want it to be able to hold the various things, but not too much. As we'll go through this list, I'll show you some examples of some things that I took out of my bag to show you but also give you examples of other things that you can add to yours depending on your situation. Your get home bag should change seasonally. So I normally have it for two seasons, for warm weather and for cold weather. And we're getting ready to head into cold weather here. So I am changing mine over right now so that I have what I need in case I get stuck on the road, on the way home, and it's cold outside. You have to take those factors into consideration too if you want to make it out alive. Okay, so I have my list. Are you ready? One of the most important things that you need to have is water. Now, don't go putting a whole bunch of, you know, plastic water bottles. They don't hold up well in the freezing. They don't hold up well in the heat. What you want is a metal water bottle. Those are really easy to come by. Super simple. Fill it up with water, screw that on tight, stick it in your bag, okay? Change it out every now and then just to make sure that it stays fresh, but you wanna make sure that you've got a metal water bottle filled with water. Figure about a liter, that's a really good amount. You don't want full meals. Nobody needs a four course meal when you're in an emergency trying to get home, but you do need sustenance, you do need energy. And so three, six, 10 energy bars, you know, find your favorite kind, find the kind that you can manage to choke down, whatever the case may be, not too chocolatey because well, weather. Um, so, you know, you don't want it to be sticky, messy, you know, oogie gookie, but you need something to sustain you if it takes you a while and you need something to eat. Very important to have something like just some energy bars. Figure, you know, half a dozen, you're good. A poncho. It's such a simple item. It really is. Now, back when I was kids, we had ponchos, um, and I honestly didn't have another one until a few years ago when I said, you know what, that's a really great idea. We're going to add it to the kit because it can be used not only to protect you from the weather, but it can be used as a shelter also, like a makeshift shelter. But in addition to that, you also want a light tarp, not a huge, massive tarp, right? Just a real simple, small, lightweight tarp that you can use for protection either to keep you off the ground or to keep the weather from coming down on top of you. A tarp is a really good handy thing to have in your car at all times. Um, a big part of being able to get home is most likely you're going to be walking. So you want to make sure that you have the proper footwear in your car in case of an emergency. Now, you know, you may be working in an office where you're wearing, you know, dress shoes, but if you're going to have to hike home, nobody wants to do that in three inch heels. Nobody wants to do that in one inch heels. I barely want to do it in sneakers, but you want a pair of sneakers or you want a pair of boots, depending on the weather, depending on your situation, right? And it's a really good idea to have at least one good pair of wool socks in there. Doesn't matter what the temperature is around you, wool is a beautiful thing for wicking the moisture away from your feet. It's very important if you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. So some kind of shoe, 
some kind of footwear, and at least one pair of socks. I kind of opt for two because I'm clumsy and I step in water a lot. Yeah. Um, weather appropriate clothing. Again, you don't need to be, you know, a fashionista. Have a jacket if it's cold. Have a sweater if, you know, just in case. Have a sweatshirt. Have some warm pants like a pair of sweatpants, something like that. Um, you don't need a full-on wardrobe. You just need a few couple things, you know, that you can roll up nice and tight and snug that won't take very much room in your bag that are lightweight. Remember, you don't want to be carrying a 50-pound backpack or bag to get home if you're in an emergency. You have enough to worry about. You don't need all that extra weight. Now, fire starter tools of some sort. So, uh, whether it's Bic lighters or waterproof matches or, you know, uh, one of those magnesium strips, something to be able to start a fire if you need it. Uh, many different options out there for you, and I'm going to show you one in a little bit. Um, another one is a good multi-tool, and it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be anything elaborate, okay? But one of my coworkers actually made this uh, case for mine, and mm, 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 there you go. And so this goes with me wherever I go, and this can get you out of a multitude of situations. It has all kinds of extra little tools and stuff down, but you know, below that you can pull out. It's handy. It's small. It's a good one, so it's got a little weight to it, but you know, it's not going to weigh down your pack that much. So I always have one of these. There's literally, there's one in my purse, there's one in my get home bag, there's one in my car. I've, I've got them all over the place. Um, and they're very handy to have for a multitude of things. So I highly recommend getting one of those. Um, a headlamp. So you guys have seen them, right? You know, there's the elastic band and it has the lamp right here. Those are the most amazing flashlights that you can possibly have. You are hands-free. You don't have to worry about it. They actually hold a charge for a really long time. And so it's like the perfect little thing, and it takes up very little space. So getting one of those headlamps is a great thing for your get-home bag. Just be sure when you change out your, your bag, you know, every six months, that you're changing the batteries. You're making sure everything there is okay. So the next thing is a first aid kit, and you don't need you know, a paramedic's first aid kit. You need a real basic first aid kit. I love this one because it comes with this. I can hook it on the outside if I need to, but it's a nice, it's uh, not necessarily a hard shell case, but it's not soft either, you know, so, and it has just the bare necessities, okay? So it has bandages, antiseptics, uh, tape, scissors, you know, all that fun kind of stuff in your gauze. Uh, medication, alcohol wipes, and it's very affordable, very affordable. None of this has to cost anybody a whole bunch of money, and you can just put this directly in your bag like I do, or you can hang it off if you need the space. I'm, I'm not big on having everything hanging off the bag, so I prefer to have it inside. Simple little first aid kit for just the most basic little emergencies, you know, as you get home. Okay, you're not going to do surgery with the thing, but it's a good kit to have. Um, a hygiene kit is very helpful. So have a travel size toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, hand sanitizer or soap, okay? Hand sanitizer is probably easier. And I always keep a bag of these. You guys have seen them, the little tablets. They're the, um, they're the little multi-purpose wipes. And with a little bit of water, you know, they expand. They're kind of the size of a little towel. And you can use them for all kinds of hygiene purposes. Very handy to have, and you don't have to put the whole bag in there. You just put a few in with your, you know, grab a few out, put them in with your emergency kit. Get a few out, put them in with your other little kits that you have in there. Make a little pocket in there for them. They're very handy to have in case of an emergency. Um, an emergency blanket is really a great thing to have. Now, I'm going to show you guys this little kit, and I'll put links for the things that I show you down below. But this, I opened it and turned it into a hot mess. But... This little kit here has a little bit of everything in it, right? It has a compass, it has some paracord, it has a flashlight, it has that thing to break the, you know, break a window. It has an emergency blanket. It has something to cut, uh, you know, a cord or something with. It has a little knife. It has, this is my favorite because I'm a, you know, I'm a little fun. This is actually a little saw. It's a little hand saw so you can cut off little branches and stuff to start a fire if you want. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'll put a link down below for it. That's another great little kit to have. And it's, my favorite part is it's hard case. I mean, that's hard case. And it doesn't weigh anything at all. It's, it really is very, very light. So I think that you guys will enjoy that if you're just building your kit. 
that right there can get you out of a whole bunch of different emergency situations, being able to take care of different circumstances that you may run into. I personally think that little saw would make a really great little weapon too, but you know, I digress. Anyway, um, N95 masks are available again. You can find them all over Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but um, just having, you don't have to take the whole, you know, 50 pack. Put three in your in your bag. You know, tuck them into a, a Ziploc baggie, tuck them into your, your bag that you're putting everything into and you've got them there in case of an emergency. It's always a really great thing. Cash. Cash is king, right? So having some kind of uh, mo you know, money, actual cash money, and not, not $100 bills, okay? You want small denominations. You want some coins in there too because when an emergency first happens, everyone's not going to be thinking and they're going to think cash, you know, it'll all come back and so we'll just have cash and you can get whatever you want with cash at that time because your ATM card might not be working, you know what I mean? So having a stash of cash in your bag is a really important thing to do. Um, not thousands of dollars, okay? But, you know, enough. And have it, I'd say, 20s, 10s, 5s, singles, and a little bit of coins. Mix it up there a little bit. Um, a writing tool and a pad. I know that they have a, a writing tool out there. I mean, I've got pads and paper everywhere. I could write on anything just about any time. But they've got, it's, it's one that's good for even writing in the rain, you know, so you can search for that. But you want some kind of writing tool and something to write on, um, to leave notes, to write down information. Um, you know, there's any number of reasons to have something to write. <clears throat> Pardon me. And you may not have your phone easily available or it just might not work anymore. You know what I mean? Um, so the next one is an emergency radio. You guys know I love my little hand crank radio flashlight phone charger doohickey thing, right? I love it. It is perfect for an emergency. It doesn't rely on batteries. You don't have to worry about swapping out batteries. It's another great thing and it's very lightweight so it goes well in your bag. Now we have some paracord, but like I said, if you get a kit like the one that I showed you, it normally has a little bit in there. You don't need a whole bunch of paracord. I'm not a huge paracord fan, truth be told, but I do see the reasoning for having it available. There could be reasons that you need it. I would also include a few zip ties because you just never know, okay? You need to factor in a whole bunch of different things when you are putting together your kit. Definitely, definitely strive to make it lightweight, make it easy to get into, make it easy to access in your car. Um, try not to make it look tactical. You don't need a tactical bag. It can be, I mean, nobody will pay attention to it if it's a diaper bag, right? You know, and you can fit everything that you need in there. It's got a nice long strap. You can throw it over your shoulders and you can march home. If you want, it's a great thing to have a walking stick in your in your vehicle also because having a walking stick just helps you stabilize as you're traversing whatever terrain that you have to get through to get home. I have the opportunity of uh, crossing a river twice, um, cutting through a national forest, cutting through swampland, um, and you know dealing with wild animals all the time. So if it is appropriate and if it is something that you are comfortable with, some kind, some form of personal protection is also a really good thing to have. Make sure that you are properly licensed and every, doing everything legal and safe because if there's not an emergency and you get caught with it, that could be a problem. So, you know, I also have pepper spray. I have my pocket knife. I have other things. So, I hope that this gives you some ideas. Um, that also, I don't know if I mentioned it. This one has a whistle. It has a whistle. Whistles are very, very important, you guys, because sometimes you can't be seen, but you can be heard. And so whistles are a great thing to have in your kit. What other suggestions would you put in your kit? Be sure to drop it down below in the comment section. Share the knowledge with everybody else. We can build an amazing kit that weighs less than 20 pounds. Seriously, less than 20 pounds. And even I can walk 12 miles with 20 pounds on my back. I hope that you are enjoying this really great collaboration. Be sure to check back tomorrow. Prepper Potpourri is coming up with some really good fun video. And until next time, remember if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook and be safe.